السلام علیکم ایم زین الرحمٰن چودھری فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف بائی میڈیکل انجینئرنگ ٹیکنالوجی یونیورسٹی آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹیکسلا آئی ایم ایفیلیٹیڈ ود دا ریسرچ گروپ سنڈیکیٹ آف امبیڈیڈ ان الیکٹرانک ڈیزائن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو پریزنٹ مائی ریسرچ ورک آن ای سی ٹی بیس بائی میٹرک اوتھینٹیکیشن یوزنگ امپیریکل موڈ ڈی کمپوزیشن اینڈ سپورٹ ویکٹر مشینس دا کانٹینٹس دیٹ آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ ان دس پریزنٹیشن انکلیوڈ انٹروڈکشن مٹیریلس اینڈ میتھڈس Results and Conclusion Moving on to Introduction What was the basic motivation behind this research work? ECG-based authentication has gained much success in recent times. Our aim was to design a biometric system with its full dependency on the individual and that is most difficult to counterfeit. This system is very reliable unlike that of fingerprint and face authentication that have been used in the past. ECG for this system can also be obtained without any inconvenience to the individual. Biometric systems are systems that uses technology to identify an individual on the basis of his or her information. In recent years, biomedical signals have been used as the basis of biometric system. Many other biosignals have also been used other than ECG. These signals include electromyograph or EMG, photoplethysmograph or PPG, electroencephalograph or EEG, and many other signals. We presented our work on ECG biometrics that includes electrocardiography. It is a technique to measure electric currents generated by a sinoatrial node or SA node of the heart. These electric currents travel all the way to the surface of the human body and are recorded using surface electrodes. Figure shows a normal ECG signal. It consists of a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. It is unique for every individual and thus is very suitable for a biometric system. It also guarantees the presence and aliveness of the person that increases the reliability of the system. Next, we present the literature review that shows the work that has been done on ECG biometrics in the past years. In 2015, an ECG authentication system was presented that used time and amplitude based features for feature extraction. Linear discriminant analysis was used as a classifier and an accuracy of 84.93% was obtained. Then in 2016, discrete cosine transformation was applied on ECG signals SVM and neural transfer neural network were used as classifiers and, and an accuracy of 96.6% was obtained. In 2017, neural network was used as classifier that yielded an accuracy of 94.39%. Then again in 2017, morphological features were used for distinguishing different classes. Linear discriminant analysis was used as classifier and an accuracy of 96.22% was obtained. In 2018, attention-based bidirectional long short-term memory or LSTM and one-dimensional convolutional neural network were used. 97.54% was a maximum accuracy and that was obtained. Then in 2019, Mean and standard deviation were used for feature extraction. Nearest neighbor classifier and support vector machines were used that yielded accuracies of 97.7% and 98.7% respectively. And again in 2019, two dimension convolutional neural network were used that yielded an accuracy of 88.57%. Next we present the materials and methods. Firstly, we discussed the data acquisition. The data was acquired using biopack systems, SS2L electrode lead set, and body surface electrodes. Three electrodes were used, each clipped to right forearm, left leg, and right leg. The total data set include 14, included 14 subjects, out of which eight were males and six were females. Next step was the pre-processing of the data. The raw signals included noise that is produced due to artifacts and power line interference, etc. 
power line interference is between 48 to 60 hertz and the muscle contraction noise or the artifact occurs at 38 to 45 hertz this is the frequency range for the noise empirical mode decomposition was applied for pre-processing and as a result intrinsic mode functions were obtained and IMF selection was done next shows the time domain and frequency domain of the ECG signal before pre-processing. A number of IMFs were obtained as can be seen from the figure. IMF1 and IMF2 best represented the ECG signal while the rest represented the noise. Thus, IMF1 and IMF2 were selected. The figure shows the signal after the pre-processing after combining the IMF1 and IMF2. Next step is the feature extraction. A number of time and frequency based features were used for experimentation and a combination was selected that best yielded that yielded the best accuracy. This combination included channel energy, skewness, variance, occupied bandwidth and median frequency. The figure shows a scatter plot between median frequency and variance and it can be shown that these features best separate the different classes. Next step was the classification. Support vector machine was used as a classifier. It has different kernels and the kernel that yielded best result in our case was the cubic kernel. SPM creates a hyperplane that is most suitable to distinguish one class from another. Next, we will result, uh, discuss the results. The table represents the accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, and error rate using different classifiers, and it can be seen that maximum results were shown using SVM cubic. Then we also used a number of different combination of features, and as the results show, the maximum accuracy was obtained by the fifth combination that was our final combination. Next we present the above discussion in graphical form. It can be seen that the best accuracy was shown by combination 5. The figure shows the truth table that shows the accuracies of each class with cubic SVM as the classifier and it also shows the error rates of each class. The overall accuracy of the system is shown that is 98.72% with an error rate of 1.28%. Now concluding our presentation. We presented an ECG based biometric authentication system. This system used EMD for pre-processing for feature extraction, we combined a combination of time, frequency, and statistical features. SVM cubic was used as a classifier that yielded an accuracy of 98.72%. Our future goals include, include the aim to design an embedded system for real-time biometric applications with increased number of classes. There are also some limitations to this ECG biometrics. This include limited classes experimentation protocols, and feature extraction. In order to overcome these limitations and to improve our results, we intend to use ECG and pulse prothesmograph fusion system. This will surely enhance the accuracy and also help us overcome the limitation. That is all from the presentation.